This is Ben Davidson, subscribe to Spirit Nikon. This is the biggest platform in boxing, and I'm meant to be world champion. I'll go all the way. Now, if somehow Deontay Wilder pulls off the win tonight against Tyson Fury and regains his WBC World Heavyweight title, then I fully expect him after the fight to say that all the allegations towards Tyson Fury cheating, the egg weights and everything else that went on was all one big mind game. It was an 18-month mind game. That's what I fully expect Deontay Wilder to say and do. And the reason that I say that is because well, I mean, firstly, anybody who comes out with all these kind of excuses when every single one of them are absolutely ludicrous, nobody can truly believe that all that happened. Nobody's that stupid, okay? And then as a, a knock-on effect, you're going to see a lot of the Wild Ets of Twerk Army, the fanatical Deontay Wilder fans, the uploaders, want to come out and act like they were in on trying to play the mind game with Tyson Fury. Look what we've done to Tyson Fury. We messed up his mind and blah, blah, blah. Truth is, they weren't in on it. OK, but they're going to act like they were afterwards. Now, it could also be that maybe Deontay Wilder has been accusing Tyson Fury of all these things because he is, in fact, trying to get people to look at this third fight to try and look at Tyson Fury a bit more closely, look at his gloves and all these kind of things, thus not looking at his own gloves, not looking at the things that he's going to be doing in this fight. OK, this could happen. So maybe... Deontay Wilder is going to load up his gloves. Maybe he's going to try and spike Tyson Fury's water. Maybe the referee is in on it. Maybe the referee is, as soon as Tyson Fury hits the canvas, even if he's not hurt, the referee will jump on top of Tyson Fury, try and put his gum shield out as if the fight's over. Maybe he'll just jump in prematurely and stop the fight. You never know. Maybe Bob, Bob Arum's in on it. You don't know. Maybe John Fury is being correct that all of this is going to be one big hoodwink to get the WBC belt back into the United States of America. Maybe. Okay, you never know. So I would certainly watch this fight tonight and expect the unexpected. Maybe one of the storylines after this fight is going to be how Deontay Wilder screwed Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury got robbed. Even if it goes to points, don't be, don't be surprised if they award the fight to Deontay Wilder. Don't be surprised. Maybe the judges are in on it. The Nevada Athletic Commission are in on it. All the things that Deontay Wilder has been accusing Tyson Fury of, maybe he's doing for his third fight, right? I mean, granted, I don't think he's that smart. But again, maybe with this extra weight that, it, that uh, he's carrying, I mean, what does that tell us? 238 pounds for Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder is pretty much a career... 220 plus heavyweight that's what he is okay so he'll fight at 220 pounds 212 pounds 222 pounds that's pretty much what wild does so him coming in at 238 which is is it seven pounds heavier than the rematch now as soon as he stood on the scales for the rematch that's when i knew tyson fury was going to stop wilder i made videos on it because wilder when he's carrying extra weight his legs can't handle it He's off balance. He's like a weeble. Okay, his skinny little legs can't take that upper torso weight. So the lighter he is, the better it is for his legs. So as soon as Wilder gets hit, he's all over the place. When he throws punches, especially when he loads up, he's off balance. We've seen him when he's quite heavy against Artis Bilka. He was punching the canvas. He threw punches so wild that his whole balance was off and he actually hit the canvas on one occasion. We've seen him do it multiple times. So this could certainly play into Tyson Fury's hands for sure. But at the same time, maybe this 238 pound is telling us that Wilder is going to come out the blocks, shit or bust. Just go for Tyson Fury. And maybe that one punch will get through. Because the more chances you give somebody, this is the third chance that Tyson Fury is giving Deontay Wilder to get a win over him. The more chances you do it, one of those times... Wilder's going to do it. It's, your, it's a law of averages, right? It's going to happen at some point. Maybe today is the one that Deontay Wilder lands that punch. Maybe. Maybe Deontay Wilder is so big and bulky right now because maybe he's come off recent surgery. We know it's an old trick. If you want to have some steroids in your system, 
what you do is you go to the doctor, you have a little bit of an operation. Well, you need to aid your recovery. Steroids will usually help that. Then you get a therapeutic use exemption. And as long as you put it on the VADA form, it doesn't come up. You and I will never know about it. Maybe John Tay Wilder is juiced up to the gills for this fight. Maybe, or maybe not. Maybe he's been walking around at this kind of weight for the last 18, 20 months. So maybe now he's used to it. Maybe, you never know. But don't be surprised if something happens. Now, one saving grace, if you're a Tyson Fury fan, is the fact that David Hay has predicted that Deontay Wilder is going to get the win. Usually, nine out of 10 times when David Hay picks someone to win a fight, that doesn't happen. David Hay, his prediction rate is shockingly awful. It's terrible. Okay, so that might be a saving grace for you. And hopefully it is. Hopefully Tyson Fury gets to win. Now, I'm not here to make any kind of excuses for um, Tyson Fury. I'm not here to try and premeditate any kind of excuses. For me, if Jonte Wilder wins, then he wins. Okay, congratulations to him. Hopefully that don't happen. But in some ways, we could look at it as some kind of karma. Oh, well, maybe you should have paid Wilder the 20 million step aside and go made 100 million for Anthony Joshua for Undisputed. You didn't want to do it. Did you con the whole boxing world? Quite possibly. Okay, even John Fury has said very similar. Now, as far as the gloves and that are concerned, yes, there's been a little bit of a deal about it where the team of Deontay Wilder has been going backwards and forwards about what gloves Tyson Fury can wear. We've seen some clips and that of it, but not too much when it comes to Wilder's gloves. Maybe Wilder is going to start removing the padding. Maybe Wilder is going to cheat in this fight. Maybe the referee's in on it. You never know. You never know. Okay, so for everybody out there who's going to be looking at Tyson Fury's gloves with close inspection when the fight goes, well, let's look at Wilder's gloves too, eh? Let's not forget that one. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe, catch you on the next video. <laughs>